Hey, welcome back. We have the weekend sales here. It's uh, 16 items for $264. So we will get to pulling some here. I think in the last video I said we'll see you tomorrow, but I forgot it was the weekend, so it's been a couple days. Let's do um, a CD, and it's $25.83. 2583, let's see. Oof, that was 10 off. 2583 Nickel Creek Reasons Why, the very best. That's gotta be from the pallet buy. Um, almost. I think the pallet started at 2640. Oh. What'd that sell for? It sold for $4.99. Nice. And then in B41, we have some Ooh. vintage close pin. <laughs> It's like, where's B41? Shouldn't be hard to go in order, but. Good thing we found those other clothespins to do our storage with because we're selling these now. It's the actual bag of them, right? Not like the potato sack of them? No, yeah, the actual bag. I was like, oh, you have clothespins, but then you can use those. But now he's old, so. I, want to say, I thought this was actually open. Oh yeah, it is. I think there's a couple missing. It says 50, but I think I counted them and maybe it was like 48 or something. Yeah, there's 48. What would those sell for? Otherwise, they're brand new. But they, they have been opened here. for 849, but all in 1866. So yeah, it must have charged. It turned out on. I'm sure it's going to go over a pound. I think I weighed it when I listed it, so... Oh, nope. Oh, well, I overcharged on that. That's all right. Um, and then in B25, we have the Ford emblems. B25. We have those in a bin now, huh? It's like a ton of them. But two pairs. Now, whether they know they got two pairs or not, I would assume so. I don't know. I pictured it. With two, so yes, but yeah, that's what I hope that you got it. they know. But. Also, if they paid that kind of money for just two, then I should increase the price. So there they are. I guess they have two Ford cars that need new emblems. Um, and those sold for forty-seven fifty-eight. Okay. We got these at the Highway 127 sale. It was like really one of the only buys. We bought a few other small things, but that was the... Uh... Yeah, we really didn't know how to do the sale. It was our very first time, so... It's like a we white square on here. I don't know what it is. Could play them better next time now that we actually know what it's like more now and maybe do better at buying stuff. But yeah, that was one of our like only buys almost. Mm-hmm. It was the most expensive buy anyway, for sure. Yeah. But we're almost, this will be what we sold three pairs before this, so five pairs total. And I think it only takes like seven or so to make our money back, so. All right, what's next? Uh, CD 1292. 1297, sorry. Oh, I'll you changed your mind. That's what my finger landed on. Michael McDonald, the ultimate collection. Yep, and that sold for $4.99. Big money in CDs okay. this weekend. Okay. And then a CD for um, $39. $4.39, that's a low one. Okay, let's see. The very best of Dan Fogelberg. Sold for $4.99. Okay. We got some clue pieces again, S2B. Or not S2B. Um, five pieces of game board pieces, like the weapons. I don't think it's that one. There's not even five in there, is there? Mm, there's four. I think it's this one. What's the rope? 
look like. Is there a rope in there? Oh yeah, they both look the same. Never mind, they won't tell mm -hmm. you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So not the pawn pieces, just the weapons here. And that's from 1972 Clue. Just replacement pieces. I think there's six weapons total they're supposed to be, but it was missing one. So what'd that sell for? Yeah, it says it's missing the knife. So it sold for $4.24. Okay. But this was also something we just had sitting around forever, so we yeah. made some money Finally broke down the clue games. Well, there's only two listings left, I think, out of six or seven. One's the pawn pieces from the 1972, and one's the weapons and the dice from 1963, so. And then we have a DVD, 2168. That was from the pallet buy. Yeah, well, all the DVDs are almost <laughs> from the palette, but we had a few others, but... I guess this is actually an okay one. I, when I listed this, I didn't think anyone would ever buy it. <laughs> two complete videos. Kala, Kalawe, I don't know. Hawaii's Active Volcano and Rainforests of Hawaii. What that sell for? $15.99. It was $19.95 when they bought it in store, so... Well, they paid twenty one twenty two. Oh, well, I guess they didn't get a deal then. <laughs> um, and then we have a CD twenty five forty eight. Twenty five forty eight. Looks like Restless Heart Greatest Hits. No end to this road. That was a $4.99 four CD. The buyer also left us a note. Um, they would like us to provide accurate, accurate packing, um, accurate protection to prevent the, the CD from being damaged. Yeah. So we will put it in a bubble mailer like we normally do um, because that seems to be pretty adequate usually. Yep. Get a lot of good positive feedback for our shipping on CDs. It might just be generic though, I don't know. But nonetheless, we don't have a lot of complaints about them breaking, so. And then we sold some hero clicks. Oh yeah. So that's new. You guys get to see them sold for the first time. And we got a second row on the wall. Yep. It's really reflecty. Anyway. <laughs> so in number order. There's some like black lines on here, some banding. I don't know. It looks like why this thing's old. Three fifty one. Oh, the first one, huh? I don't know. Maybe. But only one guy sold out of there. We had two copies of that guy, and we just got one. That's a, I don't know, Brute Stalker Spiker Rifle. These are all going to be Halo guys. 52. A, what is that? Sisa, Sisa Refume with Plasma Rifles. It's got one broken off, so hopefully I noted that in there. I tried to. I know I did on a few of them, so hopefully that's one of them. What was that one? Uh, 352. Yeah, it says it's damaged. Okay. And then a flood carrier. He's pretty ugly. The system seems to be working so far. It's just backwards from how you would normally read numbers and whatever. But wow. from there over and up. We could always change it one day if it gets too early. We got uh, Tartarus, Fist of Rucked. Rooked. I don't know. And 3. So 
So a total of five figures. Be nice to get some lights over here sometime because it's all our bodies just get in the light. But anyway. Yep, five figures you should have for fifty-one dollars. Yep, so it's five sold for fifty-one. So I don't know. They shouldn't be too hard to ship. We will see how that goes. Okay, we're back. We got a few more items. I guess I didn't really go anywhere, but I had to fix the camera because it was like banding and not focusing and yeah so hopefully it looks a little better now so we have a casserole dish with lid it says it's the 10 inch so it must be this one probably the other two look small should have yeah. numbers on it uh p10b yep 10 inch made in usa blue corn flour and that's all for 15 dollars and 16 we haven't had these for what 15 plus shipping mm -hmm. we haven't had these listed like forever but they've been around for a while and now it's like the third pan or pot or whatever thing we've sold recently so yeah it's we weird. got it at the very last auction it was an auction only but it was the last one that our favorite estate people do um before they ended for the year because they take a couple months off it's nice um, to clear that space off up there. Be nice if those brown ones back there are amber sold, but yeah, those came from a garage sale. So. Yeah, I don't plan on buying much Pyrex anymore. <laughs> I don't know if enough about it, and then they go expensive sometimes at auctions. So yeah, we have a CD fourteen seventy eight and a DVD. Ramsey Lewis Maiden Voyage and more. $21.99. Ooh, we can send that one in a box probably. And the last one is a DVD $21.46. $21.46. Is it a $20 one too? No. <laughs> it sold for $3. Big business. Betty Midler and Lily Tomlin. Oh, that's probably a comedy. So, so that's all we have for this weekend. All right. So we can, uh, we'll try recording some of the shipping here. And uh, see if you like it. We might do it every now and then or every time. We'll see. But we'll do it this time anyway. So we'll be back in one second. All right. So we start out by Sam takes her stuff. Which is anything yeah. that needs polybag, which is like 80% of everything we sell. So. Mine is the bulk of the shipping. And then Lately. even half the stuff I have to ship here doesn't take a whole lot. So mine is almost like? always just poly bags or bubble mailers, so I get those. The light may be terrible, I don't know. We'll see. See how it goes. If it looks terrible when I go to edit it or upload it, then we'll uh, just stop for now until I get some lights out here. It's probably not necessary to bubble these, but I do. Normally people only buy one pair also, so it's a little less weird. But let's put them back to back. And then now their fronts can't rub on each other. And I guess with two of them, we'll do that. Uh, da, da, da. Tape dispenser here. Just tape them together. And we'll just uh, send that out in a poly bag. I was debating on whether or not to send it in a small box or not, but. It'll be all right. They're not gonna get hurt. We like to do our shipping um, individually. Some people really like uh, bulk shipping. Yeah, we don't like shipping. bulk shipping. I mean, I guess we've never really given it a yeah. a real try, but just the idea of it. Don't We're like happy it. with what we do, so we have given it a good try. And with both of us here, anyway, 
Like right now, I can be doing packing up this stuff while Sam's getting that stuff shipped out, and then. I kind of made it into a little assembly line. So even if you're here by yourself shipping, you just pack it all up, bring it down to this counter, weigh it, and send it off. I probably use more bubble wrap on stuff than I need to, but little stuff, especially when it's multiple pieces like this, I like to bubble wrap it together now it's all all in one and then we'll just toss it into a poly bag do that for pins like the military pins that we sell often and so yeah i really only have two more things to ship here or to pack luckily his glass dish will take a little bit longer so i have time to catch up I have gotten positive feedback, I think, on the last two we sold, so they didn't break, so that's good. Oh, let's see. I have this camera set up on a box here, so it's kind of cutting out some of my normal space I would have, but... Um, Put some padding in here, fill the gap a little, and then we're going to wrap the lid. I just like wrap it once there so that it's not the glass up against this uh, ceramic. And put it in there, snug it up, and put that there and tape it, and I have, I think this is a small bubble wrap, or medium, I'm not real sure, I think it's small, and then I also have the medium. So I'll go around it once with that. Apparently I need to order another pack of that. That's my last roll. We don't use that one as much though, so. Yeah. And I try to let it get pretty low because it takes up, these rolls of bubble wrap take up a lot of space. You order them in a four pack, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just try to buy as much as I can in bulk because uh, it's always, almost always cheaper, so. Hmm. Here's how those four emblems turned out. Things rolling away here. Isn't that my alien? I'm trying. Alright. So we went one way with the uh, small bubbles. So now this side's got some padding. And we went the opposite way with the big. And now... This is the biggest one we've done recently. I don't know if it'll fit in this box or not. This is a 12 by 9 by 6. Oops, nope, not gonna fit there. So. Yeah. That's 12 by 12 by 6. This is like one of the only size boxes I don't have on the uh, shipping table over here. It looks like that'll fit. Perfect. Right. since there's some extra room in there. Now this white packing paper is actually packing paper from when we moved. And we just kept it all and flattened it out. 
And we are running low now, but it's lasted us two years, so. They apparently use a lot of packing paper when they pack your house up. Yeah. And then stuff still gets broke, so, you know. And, but I did, I do have a roll over here that I paid for. Because before I ran out of this stuff, I wanted to know if that was the right thickness that I'd want. Because um, we have some thicker paper, too, that we got super cheap. But I don't really like it. It's heavy, and it's hard to crumple up. And I guess you used less of it, but... So I ripped these big squares in half, so I'm putting the equivalent of two sheets of this in there. And I did have some duck paper like this one time from Walmart. I thought, oh, because we bought the, all those Swarovski. Oh. But I didn't have any packing material, and like a lot of them were loose. And it was like 30 minutes away, so... You weren't expecting to buy the whole lot of them all? They're almost all done now, though, so that's nice. Did take a while. You need to go prepared. There's a little bit of space left. It'd be fine like that, but I'm going to throw these two. Uh, we keep these bubble things when we buy stuff from Amazon. It's just a nice, nice light way to fill in some space. Here's how our CDs end up. We have these bubble mailers. They get put in there, and I slap a label on it. Yep. So, super easy. Oh, did we want to put that $20 one in a thing or? It's a debate sometimes on what price cutoff we use the cardboard. I have here, I'll show you real quick. We got these. Um, they're actually like DVD mailers, I guess. But it's perfect for a CD and one sheet of bubble wrap and the bubble wrap just fills in two edges uh, so sometimes i'll do it for them if they hit 20 bucks uh, usually like 25 or higher i guess i do it all the time so so there's that pretty secure you can hear a little bit of movement but it'll make it i don't know what box this is, this is uh i think this is a boxery a boxery box 12 by 12 by 6. Their boxes are all right. They're just a little more expensive. Supply huts are the cheapest, but they also feel the cheapest. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do these. I think I'm going to wrap each of one of these in like a little bit of bubble wrap. And then I'll put them in a box with some paper padding around the group of them. And I think they will make it fine. Some of their arms and weapons and stuff are sticking out, but once they're in the box and the bubble between all of them, I think they'll be alright. Here's how those uh, clue things got sent out. We only carry uh, three different sizes of poly bag, so there's a little bag in there, but he did a bubble wrap around it, so should be fine. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much you can do really to fill that space in because the label is four by six, so you gotta have enough space to stick the label on anyway. But also, never got any complaints on stuff we send out like that, so. Having these little strips of bubble wrap that I cut for certain things around is kind of nice because I often need them. This is a quarter sheet, just cut a, a square cut into four strips. I use those for, well, I'm using them for these guys now, but also use them for the bat, the pins that we always sell. Um, they just get wrapped up just like this and then thrown in a, uh, that white poly mailer that Sam just showed you. So this is how I've done figures in the past. Um, I'll try, I'll probably, I'll wrap them in one more piece right there all together and then put them in the box. Here's how I 
these are DVDs. They go in the same uh, bubble millers as the CDs. They just don't get folded as far. Well. I think we really only ever had like two items get broke. And then we've had a couple more. One of them was actually broke before I sent it out and I didn't realize it. It had a chip in it and then they didn't want it. But I didn't disclose mm -hmm. that and it wasn't in the pictures. So, And then another one was a Swarovski piece that was not the piece I sent out. They were... Um, they were doing the old switcheroo. They ordered mine to replace theirs and sent me their broke one. Luckily, they were kind of dumb. It must have been the first time. Because they never uploaded their tracking to eBay. And they paid for their own return envelope. So once it didn't get reported as shipped, they had to go through its like 30 or 60 days or whatever they had to ship it back. And then it closed and we got to keep the money and then I threw away their broke one because what am I going to do with it? Yeah, we knew it was in like perfect snuggly. condition and it like came in its own box and foam and everything was all like complete. <laughs> you do have to be careful buying the Swarovskis though because they're old and glued together. So, we have had their, like, glue let go. Yeah, that's true. But I guess that one was messed up to start with, but that was another one that got damaged by the time I got to them. But it wasn't really damaged, because it was clean breaks where the glue was, so... It's not even a break, the glue just, like, wet. The first box I tried to use, it was a 4x4x4, four by four by four, and... Just a hair too small, so upgraded here to a six by six by six. Space here. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of our feedback has uh, is positive and mentions the good packing and quick shipping. So like I said, I don't know if that's just generic or if we spend too much money on all our shipping materials to make it nice and safe, but I'd rather make sure it gets there. There's the Halo figures all in one box, nice and secure. And normally Sammy has a has a couple more by yeah, the time I'm done, but with you guys. Him talking to you guys, though. Just let me stay caught up. That's her last one before these two that I had to pack up, and then. Well, they both took a minute. There's a little extra work anyway. But... Yeah, so that's, uh, that's how we ship everything. This is our shipping table, and you probably see it off and on. But it's actually the plans from Commonwealth shipping table. And we, we just it. changed like almost the, the size of almost all these. I think this whole top row is maybe the same size as his plans. <clears throat> but we picked the boxes we used the most and figured out how they'd fit in here. And then my dad was over and he helped me build it. And then our countertop up here is just this is actually some MDF I just had laying around. Um, and then this is actually flooring, the same flooring that's in our house. When we moved here, they had uh, there was a bunch of it left over. I guess it's just extras if it needed repaired or whatever. And that works like super awesome for a countertop. It overhangs here uh, like three inches, but it's actually kind of nice because it's not enough to where it like flips up if I put pressure on it. But it gives me that extra little bit of workspace from the the extra depth. And then we keep our. This thing has these drawers here, so we just keep all our poly bags in the different sizes in um, files. The smallest one up front. And then yep, and they just get off. bigger, and then we we and use these for different clean. things. Yeah, clear, but they run the same there. Yeah, so these are all the boxes we use almost regu on the regular, the poly bags. Our bubble is stored up there for now. 
I need to rework this whole storage system up here sometime. But uh, this is all our excess stuff. I got all those uh, post office boxes up there and some are flat rates that we'll like, never use or most of the time priority is real expensive. So we'll send it parcel if it goes post office. And then up here is the 12 by 12 by sixes that don't have space over there and the record boxes. All right, this is gonna be like a super long video. So I think we'll probably just go ahead and end it here. Well, I'll pop back in and do that um, like actual like profit thing and all the expenses in a second like I did on the last one. So we'll see you in a second for that, I guess. Okay, so I ran the numbers here. So we had $264.15 in sales. Uh, shipping, all that cost us $54.85. Our fees, fees and taxes, I put them into one number this time, was $53.17. Um, the um, packing, shipping material, boxes and bags, was about, I just put five bucks, because that's, uh, that big box is kind of expensive. And then cost of goods was $23.79. And so our total profit on those was $127.34. So not bad. We spent $23.79 and then 5X star investment. So not too bad. We didn't quite hit our the $100 a day that I'd like to hit. It says over three days we're at $264. Unless we do some good sales in the next five hours we'll see but we will see you tomorrow should be tomorrow this time so see you then thanks